Hey guys, Irius here. I hope you had a good week and thank you for choosing to join me here on the channel for another video. Now if this is your first time here and you like watching all sorts of sim racing related content, subscribe now and hit the bell icon as well so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing. So this is the first video since I reset my goals where I'm going to try to commit to try and infiltrate that top split. Now I did mention in that video previously that I had a couple of races to cover on the production line before we got to that that weren't so great and this is the first one of those. So jumping straight into quali here, again cutting it super fine, the same as last time out at Spa, I crossed the line with less than a second to go. It is going to burn me though one of these days for sure, so I'm going to be a bit more careful of that going forward, but we survived in this one and we're away. So after getting this bad boy stopped down into turn one, we get a good run out and we're actually going to get rewarded with a purple first sector which means I was the quickest at this point. But I did see, despite that, that I was losing the slipstream to the cars up in front, so I pushed a little bit too hard, which meant I ran wide coming out of the difficult right-hander here at the short version of Fuji. I mean, it doesn't make it much shorter, but it's shorter nonetheless. And as a result of running wide, I then ran wide again. As you can see, I couldn't get it turned in there for another difficult corner, the one that followed it immediately afterwards, that off camber right hander so unfortunately down to pushing just that little bit too hard i pretty much blew the entire lap now that is the danger of the quali strategy that myself and the top splitters are using at the moment it's all or nothing and sadly for the last couple of races it has meant i've ended up with pretty much nothing and i'm going to come across the line here with a 1 minute 42.195 a good couple of seconds off the leader but it does look worse than it is though second was half a second off the leader as you can see there and third was half a second off second so we're really about a second off the pace we would have been right up there had i not made that mistake as we know anything can happen in these races as well and usually do so whilst not an ideal start we're going to crack on and give it our best shot here as we move on to the race but before we get started, as always, let me give a shout out to the creator of the A&W root beer inspired livery that I'm using for this one. Thank you Racer294 for not only this, but for being a channel member as well. Double thumbs up for you, my friend. And if anyone else wants to become a channel member and join the other legends on the list at the end of the video, hit the join button down below. But back to the race then, we're going to eat the alpha immediately up off the line and then I know it's important to break early for turn number one, but not that early. To avoid everybody, I'm having to fly up the inside of those two drivers there. I managed to just make the apex though. I did get onto the Astro on the exit, which is going to allow, as you can see here, the McGann alongside. He's not going to pull out, leave it in there. I'm going to have to pull out myself to ensure that I don't push him off coming through Coca-Cola Corner. So we're in 15th at the moment, but as you can see on the radar there, things are going to get a bit more racy and the alpha here as we come down into the hairpin we overtook him earlier on is going to dive back up the inside and because of the differences in strengths here the lexus is going to allow us to pull alongside coming down the straight we're side by side here and even though we're ahead he's going to leave it in as well the nimble alpha can break a lot later and holds onto the position and then, without further ado, let me introduce our old friend Rick. Foul mouth Rick, remember? He's going to send Aruba to the bottom of the Alexander's vacation destination list as he lobs one up the inside, pushing us down to 17th. But as we come up the hill here, you can see the Alpha in front has got himself a penalty. We're coming into the final corner here after an action-packed lap number one. And as we come onto the straight here, you're really going to be able to see the difference in strengths between the cars, which is quite refreshing actually, and what I really like about the manufacturer series. But what I'm not so keen on, as we overtake the Alpha here again, despite him being in the slipstream of the Merc, we're going to cross the line to start lap number two, and then we are going to tuck back into the Merc. But as I was saying, what I'm not so keen on as we come down into turn number one are moves like this, which is what we're going to be experiencing here as the Alpha just bundles his way back through, pushing us back again down to 17th. The Italian, however, does not discriminate as a little bit later on in the lap, he's going to chuck one up the inside of Rick, 
he's not going to be happy with that one at all. We'll have to wait till the end of the race to see what he says in the lobby there. But he does this completely pointlessly as he costs them both time and he actually has a penalty to serve when he next comes through the penalty gates. So he's going to lose the place he's just gained anyway. Which we're actually going to see him do right now. So he's going to lose the place to Rick and then he's going to lose the place to us. So we're actually going to go up to 16th as we come across the line to start lap number three here. And as we come down the long straight here at Fuji, which has got to be actually one of the longest straights in all of motorsport, it's 1.5 kilometers long I googled, which is just under a mile. Now imagine getting punted from an entire mile away. Wouldn't that be one of the worst things that actually can be done in GT Sport? It's got to be also some sort of world record. But let's not get into that. I think the thumbnail that you guys have probably seen is gonna give something away and we'll get to that later on but anyway back to the action here and we're gonna see as we come down into the coca-cola curve again there's gonna be contact up ahead Rick is gonna get pushed wide again he's gonna be absolutely fuming with that and we're gonna add insult to injury by going to come underneath him now hopefully at this point the race is gonna settle down but Rick's upset with that for some reason you can see him flashing his lights and nope he's gonna as we're gonna come into this corner here let's just keep an eye on it keep your eye on the radar he's gonna barge his way through and pass into turn 13 and then to add insult to injury to us yes we're gonna then get rear-ended and the Italian is gonna ram me out the way and then we're gonna end up back you guessed it in 17th well, the sooner we can get up and away from these guys, the better. But that's not going to be for a little while yet, as the Alpha here is going to go wide coming down to turn number one. I guess it's difficult to make the apex when you've got nobody to smash off of. And despite being completely ahead of him, well, in my view anyway, as we come into the Coca-Cola corner, you guessed it, he's going to leave it in and just barge his weight back through, putting us back down into 17th now towards the end of the lap i've actually decided to try and give them some space as they are both him and rick complete nightmares and the gtr is actually going to do the same by driving completely off the track a tad extreme i'd say but hey you've got to do what you've got to do and thankfully this led to a brief respite it had been an action-packed race up until this point with just stuff going on absolutely everywhere but for at least this lap things calmed down and having not battled you can really see how much we managed to catch up as we caught up really really quite rapidly to the huge group up in front as you can see there it is massive i counted about 11 cars in that train and with a group of cars that size you know it's only a matter of time before it all starts kicking off and pretty much on cue, the yellows are out. Someone spun up ahead and somebody else is serving their penalty. And as the Lexus serves his penalty here, keep your eye on Rick, who's just going to come right across my face once again. It's a bit of a theme of this video, unfortunately, as he overtakes him. It's very lucky that we didn't touch there at all. Now, I decide to get out of the throttle early here, coming down into the braking zone, rather than trying to make a move, keeping it as safe as possible. We're going to get promoted up to 13th here as another Lexus has had an issue and is facing the wrong way. And then Rick, just keep an eye on him here. We're going to stay on board as we come through the Coca-Cola corner and then this sweeping right-hander before the hairpin. Trying to keep it tight here. The tyres are starting to go off as you can see. So you've got to be really, really careful and really, really patient on the throttle. So we're coming down into the hairpin. Rick is going to run slightly wide there. We're going to get a good run on him and we're going to end up alongside. And just bearing in mind how much of an exception he took in the last video, watch what he does here. He's just going to run us completely out of road. Now, the double standards that he has is actually quite hilarious. I mean, whilst it's sad that this is happening, I'm not really too worried about it at this point because I'm really going to try. Oh, he's at it again there with another Rick special. As I say, I'm actually going to try to make sure... Oh, there's more and more chaos here, so it's difficult to get word in edgeways because something else is happening all the time. But as I say, I'll try for the third time that I'm going to really try and just pull away from these guys, so I'm not going to get hung up on the bad driving. I'm just going to get through this race, get through the race afterwards, 
which is the next one at Spa and then we're really going to start concentrating on getting up to trying to get to that top split so all of this is just by the by and as we come across the line to start lap number 14 we're sat here in Rick's slipstream we've managed to avoid the chaos but then just watch this it is just absolutely incredible you can do everything you can to avoid the chaos but sometimes the chaos is just gonna find you and I am on the receiving end of an absolutely huge punt which is gonna send us all the way down from 9th to 17th well actually make that 18th and amazingly that punt wasn't even the one that I'm talking about in the thumbnail and not the biggest one of the video now this video wasn't actually supposed to be about appalling driving and I'm really trying to not get into it and stay positive and stay away from it but this was literally another one of the worst lobbies as you can see I have ever been a part of but I'm not actually mad at this point it's actually quite comical and again as I've mentioned before I'm really just going to use this as a documentation and just as a motivation to get out of these lobbies right so we're going to jump ahead here to the end of lap number eight now you'll see that i've jumped up a few places we're up in 13th now that's because a few people have pitted and i've overtaken a couple of others but there really wasn't too much to write home about now we started on mediums remember i moved onto these in the pre-race lobby and we've done a decent job with fuel but as always i like to put in an extra lap just to make sure that i've got enough to cover myself till the end of the race and i don't get fuel anxiety but even though we come out here in 19th, we have enough fuel, we're on the faster compound and I'm going to try again to make my way up the field in this race. Our comeback is going to begin as we come across the line to start lap number 10 here. We're going to get alongside the GTR who is also going to try and come back at us in the braking zone here but that's okay. We get a better run out of turn number one. We manage to stay just off that Astro turf, so we make the move stick. We're also up to 17th now as someone quit, and the field is now down to only 19. As we come into the final corner on the next lap, we're behind the Merc who punted us off. Well, I use the word punt. That's not fair. I haven't actually checked if it was intentional or not. But either way, he's going to put on his hazards and let us through. So it looks like it was a mistake at this point. So we're up to six now and good positive progress is being made back up through the field. But we're going to start lap number 12 here. We've got three laps to go, including this one. And we've got a group of three up ahead. So there's a good chance we can continue to make our way up the field. As you can see here, there's two Lexuses and a Corvette. And what you're going to see here is me catching up because people lose so much time when they battle. And I'm just going to kind of cruise up to the back of them here. I'm trying to look after my tyres. Had to have a little correction there, as you can see, because they're starting to go off. These softs you've got to be really careful with because they need to last to the very end of the race. But we're going to come into the hairpin here. You can see people are side by side. And we're just going to concentrate on getting a good exit. Wait until the car is straight to get on the throttle. We get a good exit here. And the Corvette is actually going to get pushed out. He's going to find himself on the outside. And we're going to sneak through getting the double slipstream here from the fellow Lexuses up ahead. And at this point, I'm really just trying not to crash into anyone. I try and stay as safe as possible at all times because in kind of the real world, that would be the end of your race, basically, if you start crashing into each other. And that's what we're trying to achieve here with sim racing, simulating actual racing. I have to get out of the throttle here so that I don't hit that Lexus as they're still side by side. And we're coming into the final corner here. The Corvette's going to dive up the inside of us and as we come out of this corner we're going to end up being 2x2. Two two. Now some of the eagle eyed amongst you will have noticed that our old friend up there in the Alpha is the subject of the thumbnail. But he's going to get left behind for now as we come across the line. Now that's a key development so I just had to point that out. So we're going to be, as we draw alongside this Lexus, going to be in 12th place coming down into turn number one. But keep your eye on the radar here. I'm going to get hit from behind by the Corvette. I'm then going to pinball into the Lexus. There's some contact, but I do wait to get on the throttle to make sure that he manages to hold on to that 11th position because I don't want to be gaining any places 
by contact. And coming through this corner here, I'm just going to cut it a little bit too fine and get myself a penalty. Again, another critical bit of information that is going to form the events that happen on the very next lap. So we're going to fast forward here to the final corner on lap 13. As we look behind, predictably there is chaos. Cars absolutely everywhere. I'm then going to serve my penalty and kind of expectedly fall all the way down the order. But all is not lost, I thought. I thought there's still time and we can make a dent, not literally, into the group up in front and pick a couple of those off on the final lap. And that is, of course, until this happens. And believe it or not, that was the end of that. That was the final nail in the coffin. And I'm just going to fast forward the end of the lap here. There's nothing really much else to tell you, to be quite honest with you. And we're going to come across the line in 18th place. Whilst disappointing, every cloud has a silver lining. And we're going to see this guy first hand so I've gone back to the replay here excuse him just knocking that guy out of the way there the Frenchman so he's up to 13th at this point and you can see up ahead we've got our penalty he's going to go up the inside of the Lexus there's going to be contact pushing the Lexus out onto the Astro he almost spins but most importantly he gets an eight second penalty so at this point the rage has fully taken over it's game over for him he knows He's just absolutely ruined his race. He's had a terrible time, so he wants to pick somebody else out who is also going to have a terrible time and ruin their race as well. So full throttle here. Keep your eye on us. We're in 15th, and there's not really much else to say, to be honest. Watch this. Now, that is without doubt the worst punt I have ever seen on Gran Turismo Sport. I don't know how, but I seem to attract them. But luckily for me, like I said, we've got a new goal though. I don't know what Polyphony are going to do about him. If they see him, maybe ban him, I don't know. But the main thing for me is I'm not worried about looking back. I'm just motivated in moving forward and getting away from drivers like that. Here you can see, guys, what it's done to my driver rating. Again, it's knocked it. We're almost down into A. So I'm hoping over the next few races we can build that up. But for now, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. We also have merch too, so go check out the Teespring store below and go get yourself some of that if you want to support the channel there. But thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.